I don't want to talk about that private equity internship because my other internship I can talk a whole lot more about and I feel the work I've been doing is much better. And so really kind of what I've been saying is really just that I started it at at the end of February, beginning of March. And first couple of weeks, I was learning a lot about them and what companies they're looking to acquire. And for these last few weeks, I've been on the phone a lot and doing a lot of sourcing to reach out to buyers to see if they're interested in selling. So far, too, it's been fine. Like, no one said anything. They're just like, oh, okay. That only came up once when the guy was like, oh, tell me about like your private equity thing. And I kind of said that, fended it off. And he was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Sometimes, too, they're just like, oh, like, tell me about your most relevant internship. If they ask you, like, hey, tell me about this private equity internship, I think I would just say, like, yeah. Uh, so I've been at this private equity internship in February, like the first month or so, was learning a lot about uh, the firm itself and what they were looking for and what their investment criteria is. And in the last couple months, has been primarily like, you know, my responsibility has been, you know, primarily just reaching out to a lot of companies. I'm doing a lot of sourcing and figuring out, you know, trying to generate deal flow for them. But we're at the stage of the search process yet where where we've identified a company that we're like truly genuinely interested in yet. We haven't gotten to the stage where we've spent a lot of time on a single company or just like dive really deep into any potential investments just yet. I'm hoping that we'll, that I'll be able to do that. I mean, how much longer are you going to be there for? Two months, probably a month or two. Well, you're also starting this new IB internship, right? So I didn't know if like that was going to open yeah. up. But, you know, like, you know, we continue to be very diligent about the process of, you know, sourcing new deals and... You know, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get some point in the near future where I'll actually be able to dive deeper into some of these potential investments. With that said, I did get quite a bit of experience where I have to dive into individual companies that we were analyzing because, you know, one, like I've been there for a lot longer. I've been there for almost seven months. And, you know, two, for example, I got to work on a really interesting project where I had to build a, de a detailed DCF for XYZ company. The difference between what I said and what you said earlier is like, I think yours sounded like a little bit more negative. Just, Dude, I haven't done shit at this internship. And like, I would rather talk about this other one. Can we just do that? Versus like saying, like, you never want to be negative or talk down about any of your experiences. The way I did it was like, you know, it's been very experienced. This is what we've been doing so far. This is where we're having the deal process, which is very logical. And it's not like completely within your control, whether you guys want to, you know, potentially invest, or like get serious about investing in a company or not. Like that's not your call. You're just a freaking intern, right? Okay. So you're being a team player. You're going to continue to work hard to help them to like get a deal to that phase. And you're still optimistic that you'll hopefully be able to get to that point, start diving deeper into some of these companies. And then redirect the attention to Wadi, which is like, oh, but then with that said, like, I have done stuff like that in this other internship. And so, right, like, so does that make sense? You understand the difference I'm talking about, right? Yeah, definitely. It's like, this is a common thing where like, oh, you know, people don't get that much responsibility on an internship or whatever, but like, you don't want to overly cheapen your own experience on your resume. Hey, if you like this video, click the like button and hit subscribe to get more content like this.